Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome back to the Adams Brothers Podcast here. We are here this evening with Miss Tiffany Parrish, and she is the owner and CEO of TDP Tax Preparation Services and More LLC. Welcome to the Adams Brothers Podcast, Tiffany. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, and you're very welcome. We're happy to have you here. So go ahead and tell us about uh, TDP tax services preparations and more LLC. Okay, uh, TDP, as you know, is uh, the initials for my name, Tiffany Danielle Parrish. Uh, TDP, I've been, um, myself, Tiffany, I have been doing taxes uh, for over 20 years. Um, I was taught at first by my grandmother, my late grandmother, um, Goldie Chisholm, uh, taught me and my cousins. I went on, I was working at approximately Four tax offices as an independent contractor. Um, in 2018, I was working for this one particular tax office, and myself and another young lady, um, there were some issues. So we decided, why don't I do this for myself? Um, I was a manager for the school board, which I resigned from Broward Schools after 18 years of work in management, managerial um, in the cafeteria. And I, I, I often say um, I've always, always did um, side jobs or did taxes or was the go-to and know what to do. So a lot of my team, I actually brought on before I had my company. When I made my company a LLC and incorporated it in uh, 2019, uh, July of 2019, a few of the uh, women who work with me at other offices immediately want to join me. And um, together, at, at first I had about approximately eight to 10 preparers. Going into my second year, I have now almost 18 okay. um, right now. And what we we're trying to do, we have a location in Lauder Hill, Florida, and we have a location in um, Atlanta. And what we try to do is um, do educational promotion. All my tax preparers, we make sure we're um, only telling exactly what IRS is relaying out. We, we try not to go into the social media frenzies. Um, if you follow us on TDP Tax Preparation Services and more on Facebook and TDP Tax on Instagram, um, one thing about me, I'm big on making sure we're doing what we're supposed to do and knowing that and making sure we're knowledgeable on tax laws and tax preparation. My clients have been my clients for eons. Um, uh, my, my clients have grown to be like family. So when I tell people when they join TDP tax, it's a family feel. They get a personal tax preparer. Um, not only are we personal with our clients, we're professional with them, and we're here to answer all their questions. If we don't know, we make sure we give them the right answers and guide them in the right direction. Um, we offer audit assistance. Um, I, again, I've been doing taxes over 20 years. Uh, my audit rate is under 5%, and that's because I strive to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. And I know exactly what to do and what to tell my um, preparers as well. Um, I pride myself on pro professionalism. And I want my team, which all of them, to grow and become successful. And all of them are entrepreneurs in their own right. Um, but again, they all have an entrepreneurship background. And I'm, when I promote, I promote, I promote my team. Pretty much, I have a clientele base already established. So I promote my team because, again, they are the ones that believe in me and they are the ones that are growing the company. My goal is to open up multiple offices and to um, one day just expand the TDP um, LLC into an enterprise or a corporation. Now, you have a couple of members of your team with you now You uh, in, in the office there with you. Would you like to introduce them to uh, sure. the audience? Sure. I have Waterloo Sharon Fund. Hello, Waterloo. How you doing? All right. Good. Waterloo, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Waterloo. I'm one of the tax preparers at TDP. Taxes and more. And you can tell what you do. And oh, yeah. 
I got a couple companies. I got my own sauce. Barbecue sauce. I had it for three years. That's a honey mustard based sauce. You can put it on anything. You can put it on ribs, chicken, salad, fish. You can put it on anything. And then I got another company, MC Trucking and Freight. We haul, we pick up hauls everywhere, like Atlanta, New York, California. We got drivers that drive our truck. We got a 27 footer, two 18 footers, and we also got our van. Right. So, and um, I got another company, Pressure Washer and Cleaning. We pressure wash driveways, we wash cars, and we also do the roofs as well. Okay, now let me jump back to this sauce here for a second. Now, where can we find this sauce that 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 you were telling us about? Is it online or is it in the stores? Where can we find this sauce so uh, uh, we can we can uh, start purchasing some of this sauce that you you you're, you're promoting? I got another shipment supposed to be coming next month. They ordered it through my Facebook page, word of mouth, and I I usually upload it on Facebook when I'm ready, and then they hit me up through my cell phone number, and then right. I deliver it. Right. And your, all, all of your contact information is on your Facebook page. Give that to them once again. Yes, my contact information is my cell phone number 954-709-9285. Okay. And they can find him on Facebook by his name, Waterloo Sheriff. Again, Waterloo, W-A-T-E-R-L-O-O, Sheriff. Okay. Okay. Thank you there, Mr. Waterloo. And who else do we have uh, there in the office? I have the beautiful Miss Tiffany Johnson. Hello. Hello, Hello Tiffany. Thank you. <laughs> you want to tell us? You want to tell us about yourself, Tiffany? Don't be camera shy. You can come on into the camera there. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> My name you look is fine. Tiffany. You look fine. I've been working with Tiffany since last year. And I enjoy working with her. She's very, very awesome. Right. Okay. Miss Camera Shy Tiffany, <laughs> and not <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> here. Tiffany also, um, one thing she's not even telling, she breeds bullies and Frenchies. So if you guys are looking for bullies and Frenchies, Tiffany is your go-to girl. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. All right, that's good to know. Okay, and I have Miss Kiara Jackson. Kiara, okay. Yes. Hi, how are you? My name Hello. is Kiara Jackson. Hello, Kiara. Hello, Kiara. Go ahead. You got anything you want to tell us about you? You have a business or anything you like to uh, put your business well, out there? Well, right now I'm in school for a body sculpting. Okay. And once I'm done with school, I'm going to be opening my own suite for body sculpting and full specialist, like facials. <laughs> well, whenever you open up that, whenever you open up your business, you're welcome to come here on this podcast, and we'll put you out there and and, and help That's you promote right. your business. And uh, I'll be by for one of those good facials and a body massage and all that stuff there because I like all okay. that stuff. Okay. Thank yes. you. Will do. You're yes. Welcome. Yes. Wayne, you have any questions for Tiffany? Yes, uh, Tiffany. What was your mission at the onset of starting this business? My mission was to be fair to clients and, and to not only that, I wanted to make sure I, I create job opportunities for people who believe in me and that know me. So um, also I have a approved dealership through DMV, MVP car and truck sales. And I also um, took and passed classes for my lo mortgage loan originator's license. And what I'm trying to do is uh, try to obtain all the knowledge I can. I also carry a couple of um, other licenses dealing with life insurance and annuities, as, as well as uh, being a public uh, notary, which I offer notary services for free. And again, it's because I have so many clientele and so many people that believe in me that push this business and the, just a promotion and uh, giving them an opportunity and I want to see them grow. Um, so um, what, I, what I do, I don't try to um, take too much from them. The, the goal is even with the, my, my um, preparers that work with me is to make sure not only I'm in a, a private jet, they are as well. So that's why even with their pay, 
And even with my clientele, I'm very fair, I'm reasonable, and I'm knowledgeable. And I've helped over 250 of my clientele obtain LLCs, and I've did the uh, work for them. So they can become legitimate businesses. Um, everyone always has a side hustle, but it's even better when you make it and incorporate it and get an LLC and get it licensed so that if you want to do any deductions and losses, it can be done legally and legitimately through your tax preparation. And what inspired you to start your business? What inspired me? Um, just, I love taxes. <laughs> um, again, I was a W-2 employee, always uh, doing taxes. Um, and again, um, I often tell people this. I was working, I'm a mother of six, and a, a, a divorced mother as well. So going through that and just trying to make sure my children making about 45 to 50 a year and going to almost 200 a year on my own, I tell people entrepreneurship is where it's at. Only thing bad side with entrepreneurship, you are the owner, you are the CEO. So everything does fall back on me. But again, I'm building a strong empire and a strong team. So one day I can step back and let my team facilitate um, and run the company and my children, of course. But that's that's the goal. And that was the dream behind TDP. Just wanting to put my um, colleagues on, my friends on, and help them become successful and show them that waking up five in the morning, getting off six, seven at night, not having time for your family versus when you're working for yourself, um, making sure that you're doing business that people want to say, hey, I like her, I'm gonna go back to her. Um, making sure word of mouth, um, we, we kind of do like grassroots. Word of mouth is more big than social media. So me having my name as, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to her, she knows what she's doing says so much to me and I appreciate all the clientele and the referrals because referrals built me before it was social media. I just was handing out a business card and saying, hey, taxes by Tiffany. Before I came TDP, it was just taxes by Tiffany. And I often um, always put up um, inspirational quotes. I try to stay away from negativity and that's who I am, my vibe. And, and I wanna see the best in all everyone who works around me. Okay, and I got, what was your biggest hiring mistake? I like to ask business owners this, and if you had to uh, do it again, how would you prevent that today? Uh, biggest hiring mistake often is, um, <laughs> is, 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 is sometimes hiring um, people you know or people who think that because you have a business, you're supposed to just do everything for free because you know them or people of your community thinking because you're one of them, you're the same race and um, color, hey, uh, what will it be? And oftentimes I have to, when I break down my fees and my service, again, I don't sugarcoat it. I let them know why I'm charging what I'm charging. And um, that's the biggest mistake I would say. And when you, when people leave, um, I've had people who I've trained and they go. Um, one thing about me, um, anybody who I've trained to work under, I appreciate them. And I always say those are my foundations. So I'm big on loyalty and making sure I build uh, connections and networks. Um, I'm big on building. I often network with um, a few of my friends who are business owners, and I always say, hey, we got to do a photo shoot and show them so many beautiful, black, powerful women, and that I want to, my ultimate goal is to leave a legacy behind for my children. And so me, they can not only just say their mom was a hard worker, they can say, hey, my mom, she did this, she did that, she did this. So that's my ultimate goal, um, to make them proud. Um, uh, to me, I don't try to make everyone else the my children are uh, who look up to me, but that's yeah. But I'm, I, I, you know, you learn, you live, and you learn, and you just keep moving. You don't let anything keep you down, and um, that's what you do. Just you just pick up your your smile and keep on going. Okay. 
Daryl? Well, that's all the questions that I have for you. And, we, and you know, in the end, people want to be um, comfortable coming to someone that they trust because, you know, with all the stuff that's going on with the coronavirus and everything, the last thing someone wants to do is come to someone that and, and find out later on that their identity has been stolen. So you want to give people that 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 confidence when uh, they come and have and trust you with their personal information. And exactly. I know you, and I know that uh, that you won't tolerate anything like that. And uh, just the people um, that's out there watching right now, you know, I, I do know Tiffany, and she's a she's a hard worker. She's a hustler, just like she's been saying. And uh, we wanted to bring her on this podcast and uh give her the opportunity to put her business out there and she's the only I got a few more questions though. Huh? Yes, ladies. I got a few more questions. Oh okay you have more questions okay yeah yeah I didn't know I didn't know you had any more questions but yeah go ahead. Yeah 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 Tiffany was there a time you wanted to quit and how do you deal with the situation or overcome it at that time? Only thing I wanted to quit was my W-2 job where I retired from and I eventually retired. And when I retired, I let it completely go. Uh, reason why I wanted to quit, I'm very outspoken. I was on a union. Oftentimes, I notice when you're in the working field, when you're outspoken, and I'm not speaking um, against any race in particular, but sometimes when you're a Black woman and you're outspoken, you're considered an outcast or different. And I've always been considered as she's different instead of people embracing someone who speak up for someone who doesn't have a voice. So um, that's what I pride myself in. And that's what I love about me the most. I might look as if I don't speak up, but when it's fair and when it's right, it's right. When it's wrong, it's wrong. So in this business, I love it. I've had a lot of challenges. I've had a lot of um um uh things derogatory things said i never let it get to me um when you know the truth you that's what your truth is you live in your truth when people know you they know you and again i love what um daryl said we are very confidential i've never had a a leak of any of my clientele's uh information and i tell my preparers i actually stress that once someone trusts you and I, and I say that often, I don't worry about being liked, I'm trusted. So if you don't like me, I have tons of people who trust me. That's bigger and more huge of a deal than being liked. But um, that's the only time I did not like my job. Oftentimes where they want you to succumb or belittle yourself and me, no, I wouldn't. So of course, um, I had this reputation of, uh, Tiffany's outspoken or Tiffany's going to speak her mind. Yes, I am. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. And um, I will never, ever change. And if I could go back and do it again, I'd do it 10 times more. <laughs> I would speak up. But um, I, that's what I love about me. I do that now. Um, anybody who works under me know they be I believe in what's fair. Um, I don't care if you get mad. What's fair is fair. What's right is right. And um, even my clientele will tell you the same thing. Um, I, I do a lot and, and, and I, I make sure I'm hard working for a reason. And I'm always coming up with ideas and trying to come up with uh, things to stay fresh and in the know and into the social media. And I'm trying, again, I'm trying to expand. I want to grow. The, the idea is to uh, take over the nation, the US not to just stay in Broward County, Florida. I have a mind bigger than Broward. How do you personally define business success? Is it money, uh, freedom, influence, creative expression, or something else? All of it. All of it. Being creative, um, what when I, uh, the blue, it means so much to me. And um, the, the blue signifies just everything about the color blue and um just unity and and what i wanted what i wanted um with the business is and again with the preparers that they can leave their jobs and i know i say that uh to them and some of them are scared but if you want to jump off the bridge with me i'm willing to help you walk you the jump too because i want them to experience that financial freedom 
and more time with their family. And not only that, I tell them when they make the money they make, could do something else. Um, again, even though my company made that, that's not what I personally have in my pocket uh, because you got to watch what you say these days. People are kind of weird. But what you do is with the money you make, you invest. Don't be afraid to invest. And um, and that's what I, t I, 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 you know, I keep telling my people. Um, I have no idea, no, no passion or anything to go back into the working field. I don't not workers because those are the ones that help me stay employed in my business. I need them because they need a professional tax preparer. But um, I, I'm, again, I'm speaking for me and I've worked all my life since I was 11 years old. So I do not knock anyone. However you get your money, I salute everything. Any plans on expanding north of uh, Pompano? And any, any, um, any actually, Waterloo has an office in Pompano we were going to look at uh, trying to be more north. Um, and and that we we were talking about that, but I kind of like to do stuff like a little surprise. So um, yeah, that's that's one of the, the plans to expand and get an office in the northern uh, part of Broward because we're more okay. centralized. Okay, and this is my last question. What is your biggest regret so far in life, uh, if if any? Uh, usually every business owner has one. I'm just, that's going to be my final question. What was your, what is your biggest regret so far? In, in, in business, you make a lot of mistakes. Uh, again, um, you make a lot of mistakes. It's called hit and miss. And it's a question in taxes. And it says with all businesses, it says, was this a risk? And of course, all investments are a risk. There's a hit and miss. You don't know. Um, when I first went on my own, again, when you're under someone, you have this blanket of comfort. Oh, you know, I'm under her. So, but when you're the face and you're the, you're out there, you, you're, you're, you have to have a strong, strong, strong stance against being ready to be ridiculed, talked about, oh, come to me, you know, but, um, I, I don't regret anything, um. I, I would do this all over again, and I'll, 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 I'll um, only thing I would do differently, um, probably if I could, but again, mistakes what make you, is just watch who um, comes into your life when you start making money. Everyone's not there for you. Some of them are just there to ride your coattail, and believe it or not, a lot of your friends aren't your friends because who you are, because they are there because your status. So make sure you have friends that know you and you stay grounded and don't let any type of uh, influence of money or anything with wealth change you. And I think that's my biggest brag is that I'm still humble. The, you know, I'm still Tiffany. You can still hit me up. You can still call me. You can still ask me a question and I'm gonna talk to you. So. And that was that was a leading up to what what kind of support as a black business person, a black woman, do you get from family and friends? Uh, family, my biggest supporters again are my my friends like Tiffany Waterloo. Those are my extended family. My team is my extended family. My kids, uh, my mother, uh, huge. Uh, my brother who passed away last year. He was huge. Um, yeah, I often share our videos. He will always, he thought I was the world. He, he would call me Tiffany, Tiffany. He thought I knew everything and I didn't. Um, and I, when he passed, I realized how much more he loved me because he called on me for every single thing. Um, uh, you know, that's, that's huge. Uh, it's, it's, it's my friends. Um, a lot of people think uh, family will support you. No. Family will watch. We know. <laughs> Family will watch. Now, if I become a millionaire, my family might be like, hey, cuz, hey, remember everybody me? Your, everybody, <laughs> your cousin. Yeah, everybody, my cousin. But um, yeah. 
I call on my I call on my go tos. I I have friends who uh, again we um um I'll be forty three, so my friends are solid. We're solid. We 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 uh we love each other. And again, I'm I'm to get to me. Uh, you if you meet them and they're kind of like iffy about you, chances are they have a reason. But um yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's all I have. Thank you very much, Tiffany, for coming on here. You, no you know, I would advise anyone to go to your tax office. You sound very you. thorough. You are very intelligent. I mean, you Thank can, you. you can, you can, you can see, you can just listen into your interview. You sound very professional. Oh, thank you. You are very professional. Not sound. You are very professional. Thank you. And you're certainly you're certainly on your way to becoming a millionaire. Six making six figures right now. That's you're you're certainly well on your way. Uh, before we go, give us the address to your office in Lauder Hill and your number. Uh, oh. um, before we leave. okay, so um, we're on. You can find us on Facebook under TDP Tax Preparation Services and More LLC, and on Instagram TDP Tax. Uh, my um, in the link, you'll see my uh, website. We have a website. If you go to the about, you'll see all the many preparers, and you can get to know them. And you can also ask for your preparer. We're located in Lauder Hill, Florida, um, 3800 Inverary Boulevard. The Georgia office, I don't know off the top of my head the address, but we have everything on the website. And the office in Atlanta is ran by Rose Wilkins. She's very knowledgeable. She does so many different things. Again, everyone on my team is professionals. They all have professional jobs and they're all doing like other things and entrepreneurial entrepreneurship uh, skills as well. Well, good luck to you, Tiffany. Thank you for taking Thank the time you. out of your busy schedule to come by and uh, uh, Talk to us here on the Adams Brothers podcast. We hope you get a million views and we hope your phone starts okay. blowing up. Uh, <laughs> and we wish you well. We wish you a happy, healthy new year. And Thank again, you. we're talking to Miss Tiffany D. Parrish, and she is the owner and CEO of TDP Tax Services uh, uh, Preparations and More LLC. So we want yeah, to I thank might you change again. the TDP Tax. TDP tax. <laughs> okay. And don't forget, my logo is branded, so y'all cannot steal it. It is copyrighted. Don't steal it. Yes. <laughs> I trademark myself. Okay. That's it. That's right, like us. We trademark our brand here, everything. Yes. Well, thank so you. If you need trademark services, we do that. We do notary services. If you need to know how to make an LLC, um, Whatever you need to do, we offer multiple services. Right. Um, just hit us up, DM a message, we answer, and we'll get right back to you. All right. Well, thank, thank you very much for uh, talking to us, Tiffany. We wish you well. And uh, you. your staff there, you have an amazing staff. Thank you for taking the time out of your uh, evening here to come by and be on the Adam Brothers podcast. And enjoy the rest of your evening. And, and thank you. You too. Thank right. you. Have a good night. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Daryl. You're welcome. Bye-bye.